So, yeah, yeah there were, I don't know if there were that many options, yep. but, yeah, I think the, it was. The anti-goalkeeping ways here on Football Américas uh, continue. I thought you were the, the leader in that. I am. I didn't I know am. MVPs I'm could upset. be goalkeepers. I'll be I, honest. I would have given it to Carlos Vela. Mm. Yeah. You know, I yeah, he gets the goal. He, he gets, gets the, the early goal. goal. What is the earliest goal since, who was it, Manchester United yeah, versus. the 2010 MLS yeah. All-Star By the game. way, happened to be the game that Chicharito debuted to the world. Mm -hmm. Chicharito, there would be no Chicharito without an MLS All-Star game. And he also scored uh, in That's that game. Saying. Yeah, yeah, one of the five uh, in a 5-2 victory. Anybody else stand out for you? We're always kind of looking for special individual performances. Not really. Not not really on the. Can I ask you a question? Not, not on, not on I the, want to know where yeah, I'm yeah, going. Please, All right, please. who stood out on Liga Mekis? Because you, I, you were next to me, and yeah. you got your coach's like hat on. Yeah. He would say, "Hey, this player," and he would. Ah. Who, who stood out for you? If I was coaching a team, yes, and I could grab one player, yeah, it's Quinones. He's, it's he's not special, even. Right? It's not even a question yeah. for me. Why is um, he so special? Uh, he's just. Uh, the, the, he's so just. Uh, he has so much to offer, right. you know, ability to keep the ball, get after you, service, he can score. He's, he's just, he's off-putting. You don't know what he's doing. Quinones on the left-hand side you're referring to. Yes, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. And uh, the Atlas player. Oh, that's the other Julian. one. That's Julian the other one. Quinones. That's Julian. Hey, okay. This one. Okay, yes. yes. Help me out Tigres. here. Yes, Tigres Tigres. Tigres. Yeah, he's the guy who Love goes him. at you more often. Loved him tonight. Yeah. Thought he was. for you? Uh, Guido Pizarro, I thought, was a big, big reason why Major League Soccer was struggling. Um, we talked about, Ben, the lack of balance for Major League Soccer. Yeah. I mean, Ilya Sanchez was really your only six, and yeah. he's not really like a defensive midfielder, I'm going to put my foot into you type of guy. He's more of a possession, string along plays, yeah. orchestrate. They had that guy. They had that guy, and, and in spades, he's a guy that could also organize. He could see the play develop. He could help cover Nenel Beltran. And, I mean, those two guys in the center of the field were carving Major League Soccer up. I, I thought it was a big reason to why they were having so much success going forward, especially down Escobar side. He was very active. Uh, ben, you managed the MLS All-Stars against Chelsea back in 2012. Give us a little perspective on what Adrian Heath is dealing with all week, and then specifically in the game, because this is not a roster that was built for like real soccer, it was built for show. Yeah, you, you get this list of unbelievable players and then you spend two days saying, how the, how the hell am I gonna get all <laughs> these guys on the field and who's gonna defend? Right. Um, so it always looks like this, it's, it's guys, and, and, and it's funny, these guys out of position, these attackers, they try for a little bit, 15 right. minutes, 20 minutes, and they give you everything and then as the game goes, you tell their habits get there and then it becomes this stretched, uh, non-balanced team. And you saw that in the first half uh, quite a bit, but you're dealing with coaches calling Calling you saying, listen, please don't play Chicharito more than 30 <laughs> minutes. I need him on the weekend. You got, um, and uh, so it's it's a tough task, uh, but I'm sure he's very happy and, and uh, he's better for going through this experience. The stars showed up for MLS. The biggest yes. stars, Herc, in Liga Mekis were not here no. tonight. Do you think if those guys come, we get a different a different outcome? I do. Yeah. The Gignacs, the I mean, memos. Andre Pierre Gignac, I don't care if he's 36 years old. He's the Danny best. Danny Alves. Product. He's the best product that uh, Liga Mekis has put out in the last decade. Danny Alves, the wealth of experience. I mean, could you imagine the fans out here seeing Danny Alves? Memo Ochoa. I know he's a goalkeeper, but what it means, what Memo Ochoa means for the Mexican public. Nahuel Guzman as well. The Nestor, uh, Nestor Araujo comes back to Liga Mekis. Charlie, that's right. A little football yeah, we fans. told you there were a lot of fans here. I think there's just a lot of Hercules Gomez you know, fans. Jonathan in Rodriguez as well. I mean, the list goes on and on. Uh, the amount of players that could have came for Liga Mekis, the real star power in my mm -hmm. don't want to take anything away from Liga Mekis and the players they had tonight, deserving absolutely. But an all-star game is a showcase of the star power in your league, Ben. Yeah. Is yeah, they went about it in a different way. It was interesting to see. It was star power in one and you know the the, the best group from, from last year. Right. Interesting. It was an right. interesting little matchup. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.